Hey, Jeremiah, Steps Pressure Washington Moore. Uh, we are actually going to be heading out to Wake Forest, North Carolina today. That's probably about as far north as we generally are willing to go, but we have a really good uh, customer up there, and we do their house annually. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about, um, I'm going to be washing a clean house. And I washed, I've been washing this house for a little bit. They came to me, they had an issue with their gutter. It was an emergency. Um, over the summer last year, we ended up cleaning out their gutters, installed some gutter guards, set them up for a fall gutter or house wash, and uh, set them up on an annual service because they're already having us come out and clean off the gutter guards. They want to have us come out and clean the house every year. So we give them a discounted rate. And I just, I think that's one of the things I want to touch on today is can you make money giving out discounts? And so I'm going to. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say yes, depending on the discount. Uh, what I want to do is I want to incentivize my clients to have me come out every year. You know, that's that's a it's a beneficial agreement for both parties. I have revenue that I can count on every year in the fall and in the spring, and they have a clean house year round, and that's what they want. They want to have a clean house and gutters that are they don't have to worry about anymore. And they don't want to have to get up onto their roof and clean that off. And that's fine. That's my job. I'm happy to do it. Uh, what I don't want to do is I don't want to incentivize uh, the once every, you know, 10-year customer. I don't want to say, hey, if you call me, I'm going to give you, you know, 30% off if you choose my business. And then they say, okay, cool. I'll call you in another 10 years and you can spend your afternoon out cleaning this. So what I want to do is I want to incentivize the customers that are going to have me come out every year. And yes, I want that business and I want the, the every 10 year business as well. I just don't want to be, you know, giving them, you know, 20, 30% off in the event that they may call me again, because when they may call me again, they probably don't even have my number anymore. Um, so yes, I would say you can make some money if you give out discounts, but you have to give out the right discounts to the right client. Uh, or else you're going to end up losing money on that deal. All right, hang tight. I'm going to get out to Wake Forest, and uh, we're going to get this thing washed. We're doing a quick inspection. I've already cleaned off uh, using the gutter guard brush we got here. I'll put a link to that in the description, but uh, this works very, very well on this type of mesh powder-coated steel. And it's nice and cleaned off. Everything looks to be empty inside and flowing. So we are going to move to the next gutter line. Uh, this one is also fully extended on the 24, but we know we can reach it because this is probably the fifth time we've been up on this peak, and this is the highest peak on the house. So I'm going to get on down, clean out some other ones, and we'll get to washing. Had to come up here onto the second floor roof to get this little section here. I believe I did it from the ground last year, and uh, when I came up to do the gutters, I just wasn't happy with the result. So I said, hey, I've already got the ladder out. Let's get this knocked out. All right, so I'm... Finally on the uh, second side of this house, Just waiting for a little bit of soap to come on. There we go. So this house, we were referred to through a realtor program we are a part of, and we came out and did some gutters for them back last year during the uh, springtime, and got to talking to them, and they said that they had a another contractor come out the year before, and burned a lot of their plants because they used sodium hypochlorite in their mix. 
So they asked me if I use sodium hypochlorite in my mix, and I said, every single day. I don't wash with anything else. I don't wash with high pressure. I only do the low pressure cleaning, period, and I explained that to them. And that kind of put them off, and I think they were really looking for a contractor that didn't use sodium hypochlorite, so I talked to them for a little while, and after a couple projects on their gutters, they decided to give me a chance. And I'll tell you, I don't think I am this careful around plants at many of my houses. There, of course, are some houses that have a considerable amount of delicate plants that I can see right off the bat, and I'm definitely aware of that in my process. I do a lot of rinse, wash, rinse, but this one I'm always very aware of kind of what's going on with this leach mix, and I'm doing a rinse, wash, rinse as I go. Let me switch over here to the, the jet pattern. There we go. And get up here in the corners. I do believe I used the sharpshooter on this one last time I was here, but let's see if I need to get it. We got one, two, three stories. And just a very light, maybe five or ten mile an hour wind, so I'm hoping this is going to hit what I needed to hit. Do a little bit of play with the wind. Yeah, I'm on there. Love it. I generally don't need to use a shooter tip have this M5 downstreamer and it's got the M5 twist on it and it allows me to get up high and down low pretty easily especially if I'm not holding the phone I can zip right along switching between first floor second floor needle the fan and Today's no different, so the shooter tip's going to stay in the car on this one. Again, this is a three-story house. Using just the M5 Duo. The M5 Twist and the X-Jet M5. Yeah, let me get to rinsing those plants. Alright, here we go. Just wetting these down while I'm letting that sunny side dwell. Really not trying to give it a super long dwell, but I want to get these nice and saturated before I come through and wash next. Yes. And the attention to detail goes a long way, I believe. I'm keeping these things nice and wet. Keep the customer happy. All right, we're around here on side number three. Got everything nice and saturated down. Decided to do this side before doing the front. That way, all of my hoses and everything is right there, right by the truck, ready to wrap up. And it might look like I'm washing a clean house, and that's because I am. And this is just, it's our, we were just out here, what, 12 months ago? Yeah, in November. And we got it washed. And this is just upkeep. That's, uh, that's what we're aiming for on many of our customers. Most people do not want to pay to have it done every 12 months. They'd rather wait for it to get nice and green. And that's okay, 100%. And you know, 
We are grateful for those customers as well, but it's like I said in the beginning of the video, these customers get a discounted rate because I'm washing a clean house every year and they get a clean house every year. I also done their gutters, gutter guards, and I set them up on a maintenance program so that they don't have to worry about their gutter guards getting damaged. All right, there it goes. Uh, one clean three-story house. I'm going to roll up these hoses, go talk to the customer, and then head on down to the next job in Garner, doing a little gutter guard clean off. So here we go. We are up on project number two. And this, believe it or not, we did in January, almost February. I think it was into January, but there are gutter guards hanging out underneath here. So we're going to just push all this off, then come back through with the blower and blow out the, the debris. So I'll get started on it. Not too bad here on the front. I went ahead and cleaned out the little valley here that was completely full down here. It's not quite as packed as it was there on the side. It's just kind of this top layer, which is great because this is what it looks like, what it should look like when you're doing it a couple times a year. Nothing seems to be bowed up here. It's not under too much weight. And also, I think somebody's going to get a flyer. All right, here's the finished product on this side. I still need to run the blower through, but much, much better. And everything seems to be flowing. I still got this corner here remaining, but then the rest is just ground cleanup and blow them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here because we are just about out of daylight and I wanna go ahead and get this done. So you guys be safe out there. I'll see you soon.